Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Shein clothing try on haul of classy outfits that look much more expensive than they really are. I have vetted all of these outfits for you, took back the ones that are no good, and this video has some amazing finds. Really first I wanted to give you a quick life update. If you're not interested in this, then just go ahead and skip forward to the start of the try on haul. But anyway, it has been a little bit over a month since my last post and I'm so, so sorry about that. Summer in general is always a really busy time for me, but I've had a lot of stuff going on. For the past month, my house has been in complete turmoil. We have been redoing the master closet, but it's not just that, it was demo, taking out carpet, we changed the floors in the closet and in the master bathroom, changed out fixtures. It was just a really lengthy process because we both work a lot. We only had time to work on it on the weekends. So every single weekend for the past month has been house projects, which is fun, but also really exhausting. Anyway, once the closet is done, I'm gonna be doing a tour for you guys because I did very extensive research on the best methods of organizing jewelry, cosmetics, all of that fun stuff, and I compiled it all together and created what I have upstairs. So I would love to share that with you guys if you're interested. I have never had any of my stuff organized the way I do now, and I'm obsessed. Aside from that, I've been really busy creating a lot of new dental content, as you guys know. I am a general dentist. I had started a dental TikTok back in 2021, actually, right after the, the second half of 2021, right after I graduated from dental school. And TikTok and everything blew up during COVID. And before that, when I was on social media, it was all photos, just static photos on IG. So when I first started creating dental content, I was so shy and nervous and awkward. And I'm not gonna lie to you, sometimes it is still very awkward. <laughs> so you're just talking alone to the camera. But I really credit going on YouTube and starting to record videos here. It got me a lot more comfortable speaking to the camera. So now my dental content is just not even a step above. It's honestly like 10 steps above the original content that I used to make, which is not very good. I deleted almost all of the videos and I'm just gonna start from scratch. My favorite part about being a dentist is actually patient education. It's more than just fixing someone's teeth for me. It's about educating them on their diet or lifestyle things that they can change so that these problems don't continue happening again. So a lot of the videos are geared towards patient education and bettering your oral health to better your overall systemic health. I really hope that you guys go and check that out. Some of the videos may actually be out already by the time this video gets uploaded. So check it out. I do have my dental YouTube channel linked on the homepage of this YouTube channel. All right, enough about boring dental stuff. Let's get into the try on haul. So the first item on the list is actually this outfit or this top, technically. There are two separate pieces that I have on right now. The first item is this black strapless top and I paired it with a maxi length faux satin ivory colored skirt. I've been seeing this trend throughout summer and honestly I think it's gonna get even more popular during the fall. This is such a simple and classic outfit yet it's super timeless. You look really elegant but you don't have to go spending thousands and thousands of dollars. The top like I mentioned is a sleeveless tube top sort of top. It has a zipper in the back and the top portion does have some elastic it is stretchy and then it has a silicone rim right here to keep it from falling down i feel very comfortable in this top i don't feel like it's gonna fall off or move or anything like that so i'm really happy with that it also has some faux pocket like slits right here they're not real pockets but it just gives it a little more of an elevated design makes the top look kind of like a blazer tube top so this is beautiful it can be worn with skirts can be worn with pants possibly even like white linen shorts would look really great and i paired it like i said with this ivory maxi skirt. I have several different faux satin skirts from midi to maxi length. And let me tell you, you really can't go wrong with these in your wardrobe. I've taken skirts like this on vacations. I took one to a trip to Thailand where you're going into temples, you have to be conservative and covered up. I paired it with a t-shirt and rolled it in the top. These skirts can be worn to work. And I love that they're really figure flattering, but at the same time, they're really conservative and modest. We spoke about that in one of my other videos where I'm kind of really like toying with that gray area of an outfit being really elevated and classy and modest, yet at the same time, 
you can see somebody's figure. I feel like those types of outfits really exude beauty in the best way. Times have changed. It's not like it was 10 years ago where the more you show, the more attention you get. Now the whole dynamic is changing and people want attention for looking like this. So I just love where that's headed. So anyway, I definitely recommend these two pieces. Now I'm gonna pair this top with another skirt. This is a pleated maxi skirt and this is actually part of a two piece set also from Shein. So here is this combination as well. Again, just showing the versatility of this top and how you can pair it with a lot of different bottoms. I had seen a dress that looked like this. It was kind of a bodice top and pleated skirt bottom. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna recreate that on my own using two separate pieces. How beautiful is this? Again, this is one of those outfits that you could wear to dinner, you could wear to a family party, you could wear it to go view a professional tennis match, and you'll just look so beautiful and elegant. Here's the top that came with the skirt. So here's the set combined. It has a cropped vest top, and the top is a halter open back design. I got mine in cream color, but they offer a lot of varieties of colors to choose from online. And I just saw this outfit and I thought, this is so classic and beautiful. One thing that I will say though, is that pleated fabric can give kind of, you know how they say the camera adds 10 pounds? Well, pleated fabric can also add 10 pounds. So definitely don't take off the tags before you try it on. And you do have to be a little careful with the pleated fabric because it's fluffy, like it's, it's pleated. Aside from that, I really, really enjoy the overall look of this outfit. I want to be taking to a classy brunch. The next outfit I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to try on, is this white dress. Now this white dress is inspired by the white dress that Kylie Jenner wore to Italy this past summer. So it's got a halter top. The bodice is a faux corset. Doesn't really have any boning, but it does have extra fabric here to give the illusion of some boning. And then the back is a stretchy fabric, which is really nice. It does cinch. The skirt kind of flows out, and what's really cute is that it also has some pockets. So I don't know if you want to put a lip gloss or something like that in here. This pairs great with some like open toe sandals and a white micro purse, and you can really recreate that timeless celebrity ensemble for a fraction of the price. This is that next dress that I got from Shein. I'm really loving playing with the black and white tones. I feel like it's just a classic color combination. It always goes, it always looks good, and never goes out of style. You can't go wrong. This dress is a midi length, and it's a little tighter on the top, and then once it gets past the booty, it flares out a little bit for the skirt. The top has kind of like this vest design, and it's got the black buttons down. Now, one thing that I will say, it does have a zipper on the side, so it is a little easier to get in and out of. One thing that I just don't love about this dress is it's a little looser fit on the torso, which is fine, but then it's really tight on the derriere portion. Like, I feel like it's kind of squished. If it would have been like tighter here and looser on the bottom, I think it would have been a little bit more comfortable. So it just really depends kind of like the size and radius of your hips. This dress will look amazing on some people and others it might be a little bit tight. Even for me, I, I'm okay with it, but I'm probably not gonna be wearing this outfit over and over and over again. I'm probably gonna save it for a special occasion and then sell it or donate it. Just because when it's too tight on the derriere, I don't feel like it's very comfortable to sit and be walking around in. All right, the next outfit is this orange peachy blazer, sleeveless blazer and trouser pant set. So this one, I, first of all, I just love this color. I feel like it's really bright and out there, but at the same time, the shade of this like peachy salmon color just looks beautiful. It's not too over the top. Now, one thing I will say for this set, this is kind of more of an oversized set. I got the smallest size that they had. It's either small or extra small, but it's, it's large. It's a little oversized on me. The pants are a little bit long. They're not super, super tight on the waist. And even if I loosen this belt, you can see that the blazer is pretty loose. That being said, I feel like that's kind of a look, um, especially if I wear it with some really high heels. This oversized look is definitely in right now, um, and I still am really satisfied with the overall cut and the quality of the outfit. So I definitely recommend 
this piece as well. Now I'm not going to change out of this just yet, but I am going to show you three more pieces in this try on haul. Okay, for fall, these are beautiful cropped blazer jackets. This one is in kind of like a mix of tweed boucle fabric. It's like a beige with some ivory sewn in between. And it's got beautiful gold buttons. So there's this one. And then I also got one in black and white. Because I told you I'm just loving that color palette right now. Both of them have padded shoulders. And this one also has some cute little baby pockets. Again, some gold buttons for some detail here. One thing I'll say, I washed this one in the laundry with all my other stuff. And I don't know if the color bled from this and it stained the jacket or if it was from one of the other pieces but if you get this one and now mine has stains you can't really see them right now um on camera but i i had to soak it in stain remover and i can still see where it's discolored in some areas i'm gonna have to get probably another one of these so if you do get this one just dry clean it Let's just pay for dry cleaning um because i don't know what it was that made the color run or you can hand wash but just be careful so what i love about these types of jackets is that these are perfect for wearing over dresses or tops and skirts even pants and they look really cute they still kind of show off a little bit of your figure when you're wearing like an oversized coat or a blazer or um a jacket it's not figure flattering it's a look in and of itself having that oversized blazer and coat look but it's, it, like I said, it's not figure flattering. So this type of jacket is perfect for fall because it's not super cold or you have to be totally covered up. But at the same time, it's not warm anymore. Sometimes the nights can be chilly. So you can have on an outfit like what I was wearing at the beginning of the video, a bandeau top and skirt. And you can just drape this over your shoulders like this. It gives you just enough warmth, but at the same time, you can still see the majority of the ensemble. You'll still be able to see the back. It'll still highlight your figure. So these little crop jackets, I think, are just the best. The last clothing piece I want to recommend is this absolutely gorgeous green multicolored dress. Now this again is in that faux satin material. She's a midi length, she's one shoulder, and on, on the inside, she's got that silicone um, edge right there so you don't have to worry about anything falling down. You guys, I wore this dress in San Diego over 4th of July weekend. We went to go visit family. My husband's brother lives in San Diego. I paired this with my vintage Chanel earrings that I got for my birthday, and this was just an absolute vibe. I'll also mention that I paired this, so when we were in San Diego, I had sandals on with this dress, and it looked perfect. So you can wear sandals with this, because we were walking a lot. You can also wear heels with this, but I got so many compliments on this dress, in person and also online, and people probably would not believe that this is from Shein. She's gorgeous. I just love it. How beautiful is that? So this green is giving a very rich, earthy sort of color and vibe. And I especially love pairing greens with gold accents. I think that's a perfect combination that really exudes luxury. I also liked that this dress had some white tied in because I was able to accessorize with my little white micro bag. In case you guys forgot, this is my cute little baby that I love using for summer. She's white. It's the Coach, the Mini Rowan. I got her from Coach Outlet. She was under $200 but it's still a really high quality leather good. I have an entire video talking about it if you're interested, but yeah, just adorable. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. All of the items in this video are gonna be linked in the description box. I feel that all of these outfits really give an elevated, sophisticated vibe, but you don't have to break the bank in order to look like you're dressed expensively. Thanks for watching. I would love it if you would please follow me on Instagram. And if you like what you see here, leave me a comment. Or if you have questions, I do respond to all of my comments. Sometimes not right away, but I do get to all of them. So thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you soon.